In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use one of our latest models, Magnific Mystic, and you're going to be able to transform images like this into high res stylized images like things. You can go from these types to more artistic ones, such as these, which you can also generate. Now, I'll walk you through this step by step workflow starting from a blank board. Now, the very first step is to bring in your own image, and to do that, I'm selecting the image uploader button or double clicking on the canvas and you can also access that. And so you can then drag in your image. You can drag and drop it in and preview it if you wanted to. This is quite a low res image. Night scene, the detail is a bit hard to grasp. So an extra challenge. And if you wanted to, you could either use a new one. So in this case, we're going to upload, use the image uploader again. You can drag and drop or simply click on it. If you wanted to replace a file, you can simply click on this button right here. But however, the other option is actually generating a style. And so in this case, I'm going to use the text to image node. And so in this case, we can say uh, a futuristic etching by Biranesi of a city in black and white. So we're going to go for a more stylistic uh, type of output. Now the model we're after, after we generate this is a on the image to image node. So you can select the image one by dragging this node connection forward. The other way again is double clicking, clicking on the image node, and then you can simply drag that in to the new node. So the first image will always be your input image and the second node, in this case, maybe I'm not too happy with this. I might want to use ideogram three or a different model. I'm going to generate two images. We can see how that goes. Now for this, I'll start just by using this image and connecting the second one in. So in order to access this model, you can click on the image to image model node and you can go straight to the model magnific mystic and so here you're going to see the settings right below it and you can see input image that's the top one and then style input it's the lower one here you do have several parameters you can control so this is your image strength you can scale it even more if you wanted to i'm going to keep it at times two for now creativity how much do you want this these input images to vary HDR and CV. And so I'm going to add a prompt, in this case, uh, create a high as etching uh, image inspired by this etching by Piranesi image, maybe I'll say of a building to give it context. Now you can click generate, you can enlarge it to get a bigger preview and then uh, we can in the meanwhile see these results maybe not quite what we wanted you can enhance this and you can use the text enhancer in the meanwhile i'm going to double click on the canvas click on the text node and i'm going to use this text enhancer here to maybe enhance this prompt that maybe needs a bit more refining a bit more cleaning up so we can get inspiration here you can either connect this and you see the text description input disappears. And why don't we just try out a different model? So Flux Pro, for example. So we're gonna generate using that new input, which sometimes it changes it. So you're welcome to just click on copy and then paste it in and change it. And here you can see that uh, layered output. So a lot more detailed. We did say black and white. Beat on AC, some crazy things are happening. So. I could use this as a stylistic input. While that loads, you can also see different results. Here I took this input here, quite, um, let's see, a foggy quite image, and you can connect these two. So input, style, and this is the output you were getting. And this is what I got as a result for this other input. So coherence is really good. Style transfers are really coherent to that style input. So overall, a really great model to use. Feel free to test it out and let us know what you think. 
This is a model that takes a little longer than others. So I do invite you to be patient on this one. Other ones obviously are just a few seconds. So um, it's usually 60 seconds to 120 seconds. So do wait just a moment and it will load right there. To access your history or past models, you can see those all in the side as it loads. Okay, so you can see those results are quite coherent to the first ones that I got. And to click it, you can expand and swipe to compare those inputs and outputs. All right, have fun. Thank you.